Hey guys, it's Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about one thing that you can do today to increase your sales and bring more customers to you. Let's get this video started. Systems and processes are fundamental when you are a coin dealer because as you scale in business, you're going to want those things to be ironed out so that everything flows perfectly. What has allowed us to increase our sales over time is great photography. When you look at an ordinary week for a coin dealer, you see getting the coins, processing the coins, photographing the coins, posting the coins, selling the coins, and then shipping the coins. Photography is a key aspect of our business because it could either help you or hurt you. Over the past three years, we've been trying to perfect taking photographs of our coins so that we can ask a fair number for them, but also be able to show off everything that's good and bad about each coin. So let's start to break down the key elements of what will make your photos good so you can ask more for your coins and also so your customers can get a grasp of what the coin actually looks like when they get it in hand. So the first two key elements that I want to talk to you about today is equipment and lighting. Sometimes what people think is that I need the best and most fanciest tool to be able to sell something. And most of the time that ends up being an equipment, which is I need a $3,000 or $5,000 or $10,000 camera so that someone will buy my $100 coin. To me, that takes up so much time, so much effort, so much energy. And there's only one thing that you can do to help perfect your coin photography and not have to use an expensive piece of equipment. You can use your phone and you can also use use decent lighting. Decent lighting is very important because it allows the collector or the dealer that's buying the coin from you to see every aspect of the coin and its holder. If you're beginning in selling coins, the one place in your house where you can actually take quality photographs is in your bathroom. And the reason being is most of the time, most of the lights in your home are in the bathroom. For our bathroom, we have four or five lights hanging above our head, which allows us to take photos of the coin, but also the holder. And it also gives every single detail that you can imagine when taking the photo. The color, the luster, the detail, the imperfections, everything. So what I would try first is that I would go to every single bathroom in your house and see if you can find a room that'll give you a quality photo. So with a combination of your phone and the bathroom, you can almost produce something that's worth sharing with your customer. One of the biggest misconceptions that people have when they're selling online is they think that someone is just there to buy your coin. No, they're not there to just buy your coin. They're there to buy your coin and they're there to buy your photograph. Your photograph is very important because it ends up sending a message. It's almost a bridge to you and the collector and telling them what the coin is and what it looks like. If the coin arrives in hand and it looks different from the photos, that is a failure on your part to bridge the gap between you and your customer. But if you take a high quality photo or a photo that captures all the detail, it can end up being added like a perceived value to the coin. And what does a perceived value mean? Well, a quick example of this would be a true view. So a true view at PCGS, say I send in a raw coin, I'm gonna request for a $5 true view, and then when the coin is graded, they're gonna send back the coin and the photo. Most of the time when dealers buy true views, they're saying that the $5 in their bank account is worth more in a true view than it is in their bank account. And the reason being is because it adds up to be a lot more value than just $5. Say I was posting a $10,000 coin that I ended up finding raw and I got it graded and I requested true views. The true views are very high quality photos that are taken by a professional team at PCGS. And it ends up being very good because you're not only selling that coin to that person, for $10,000, you're also selling them the photo that they can use for years to come. So why not spend money on photos at PCGS or why not take high quality photos of your coins when you go to sell them? This is gonna add value to your coin and it's gonna allow you to ask more money for your coin. Many times I've actually purchased coins on eBay, received them in hand, posted the coins on eBay and sold them within a few days for a 15 to 20% markup. And someone asks, well, how do you do that? It's the same exact coin. What should I do? Change your photographs. Photographs are so important. What I can do is I can find a coin with a terrible photograph. I can get it in hand, post it with a great photograph and ask for more money. So the benefit of taking great photos is that you can ask more money for a coin. In some aspects, this is like printing money. And what does printing money mean? So say I get that coin, I receive it in hand, I spend 10 seconds taking a photo of that coin professionally in the right way. I end up posting it. I made 15 to 20% on a coin. So that could be, I bought a coin for 100, sold it for 120. Bought a coin for 200, sold it for 240. 
just from a photograph. So over time, you end up printing money because you're saying, I can add something into my processes as a business to end up giving a better perceived value of what the coin is to the customer. The photos didn't cost me anything, but it ended up giving such value to the customer that they wanted to pay more. So once again, why aren't you doing this for your coins? You should start doing it today and will increase your coin sales in many folds. So what can be said about if you wanted to scale a business? So say I get in a thousand coins a month. Well, if I get in a thousand coins a month and I professionally take photographs of them, I could see a 15 to 20% profit margin on those coins. So over time, just like how auction houses are, even if it's a $10 coin or it's a $5,000 coin or a $50,000 coin, all the photographs are so professionally taken that when they go to receive the reward for those photographs, they end up making money on 500, 1,000, 2,500 coins a month. And so if you can start to streamline this across your whole business, what profit can you make over time? So the last benefit I want to talk to you about in this video is less returns over time. We don't have too many returns at Acusha Collectibles because we take great photographs. When you take great photographs, it ends up saving you a lot of headaches and heartaches when someone wants to return the coin because it doesn't look the same as your photographs as it is in hand. So take better photographs over time. Make sure it's scalable so that you can do it for all the coins in your inventory and then see the rewards of what great photography provides for you. So let's show you a few more examples on screen of what we bought a coin for and the photographs and what we sold a coin for and its photographs. This allows you to see exactly what we're talking about. As you know, we've sold thousands and thousands of coins over the past three years. So it allows us to give good data points of the coins we bought and the coins we sold, where we bought them and how much we sold them for. But also you can see the discrepancies in the photographs. We hope this is a great added benefit to you. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys found this to be informative, helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on what we had to talk about today, and subscribe for more videos. We're coming out with videos every single week, short content and long content. We'll see you guys in the next video.